Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis Session with Mukmik. So, today we've got some exciting plans because the price have came down to our very important support in the daily time frame. So, I will take you through what could happen at the moment, okay? So, here's the shots and if you remember, I always put up this supply zone of the weekly time frame. Okay, and in the daily time frame, the price have formed this uptrend to test this supply zone. And if you remember, in this picture, if the price could still show that it can persist over this around 1754 somewhere around that it could go up and make even a higher high at any time all right so for yesterday's candlestick it was the bearish one and it isn't a reversal bias well as i said the price could do you know a reversal bar for yesterday but it did not so for today we hope for the best if you are going for buying that this candlestick of today needs to close in a bullish one to form this uh, bullish reversal bar to make sure that the price could go back up to test this supply zone of the weekly time frame again okay so if you're going for a buy you need this pattern so we will have the lot wise in this daily time frame as well so if i use my fibonacci extension what i would be waiting for selling is at these points okay so the first plan would be somewhere around 1820 to 1823 okay and the second one would be 1840 to 1843 okay i'll separate them into two plans for selling but that's not gonna happen very soon because in this is in the daily time frame okay it might take quite a while to go there however if this swing low could not hold the price up what could happen next is that if you can see we have the throwback here which is our next support and also this demand zone all right so if you remember the price could do this so it formed this uptrend position if the price could come down to test this support but could not be persisted over this support we will have our qm cell i need my fibonacci retracement everyone so it could be somewhere around there beautiful because we have our significant levels as well at 1780 and 1800s okay so we need to see if the price will reverse here and test the supply again but if not we will be expecting it to come back down only here so at 1780 to 1800s okay but you need to update the swing yourself it might go a little bit further down or a little bit further up so you know the price could change for a little bit this is just my perspective that the price could coming back and bounce at this support our next one okay so that's for the daily time frame let's drop down to four hours time frame so in the four hours time frame we have this significant support right and also we have this classic divergence as well it's not quite strong so this signal is quite weak but 
is still in the plan. If you remember yesterday plans that we've got was buy gold at 1757 to 1754. So the plans is still there as I said if we've got our bullish reversal bar the price could go a lot further up but if not we just you know cut the loss and wait our next uh, support levels all right so what about another plan it would be in the smaller time frame really really small <laughs> okay i need to drop down to the um let's go for the one hour time frame first so in the one hour time frame if you can see we have new resistance at 1760 okay the price use it as a support once it could not persisted over 1760 it used it as the resistance okay so that's the brand new resistance in the one hour time frame that we've got and we also have this supply zone as well all right so let's drop down to the smaller time frame okay i forgot our demand zone is in this four hour time frame beautiful so if i bring you to the 15 minutes time frame you will see this pattern which is the high twice and we can wait for a buy okay once i posted this video the price might have changed because this time frame is really really small <laughs> all right so our next plan would be this this fibonacci song that i put it up that i've got from the high twice pattern here in the 15 minutes time frame all right so that's gonna be around 1750 all right but you might need to reduce your risk at this point because you know it might go further down if this our significant support from the daily time frame could not hold the price so if the price could coming down to 1750 you might need to reduce the risk and also you need to take the profits really really fast okay so that's the plan for today easy and simple okay these are the plans in the smaller time frame and in the daily time frame we have these big picture so i hope you learned something from this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also please click the subscribe button for us thank you very much if you need the confirming signals please join me in the bubi project we'll keep you updated on every single plan in there if you haven't joined me please do so i'll leave the registration link down below i'll see you in there and i'll see you tomorrow oops <laughs> next week Bye!